Hey everyone, Aussie Viking here to do a tutorial. It's raining outside if you can't hear, I'm bored as hell, I'm going to do a tutorial. Yesterday I uploaded a video about GoldenEye emulated and all that. I'm just going to show you how to kind of get it working, really. It's not too hard, but I figured why not? Some people probably just want to know and you see so many videos out there just like, no, we're not going to show you how to do it. We're just going to show you how to get it and it's like, nah, screw it. So you want to come to here, the link will be in the description, Internet Archive, great place to get things that are free and um, basically no copyright. Uh, you know, things available to the general public. So basically, you just want to go to the zip file and download. I've already got the zip file, so I don't need to download it, but hey, you download that, and then you want to go and download a 007 GoldenEye ROM, which, save file, save game, whatever, and you're done, right? Once you've got that, you get all of these files, right? Unpack them, and you're done. You click 1964, and you just double-click on 1964. Another thing is, in Project 64, when this thing wants to load, uh, Project 64, there will be a mouse injector. Now, you can run it from here. I like to run it in the game file, so I like to copy it. You know, copy, paste, and you got it right there. Because we're going to need it. Now, when you get it, some settings need to be done. First of all, go to your CPU, what was it, CPU? No, go to change plugins. Make it, basically make your plugins like this. Bang, boom, bar, right? Make sure that's enabled. OK. And then you want to go to, you know, you can go to audio settings if you want. Nothing really crazy there. You can go to, um, let's see, input settings again. Change it all up if you want. That's on you. And, and yeah, video settings as well. Change it all up. Do this, do that, yada, yada. You can put FPS counter, make it full screen. Do whatever you want. Okay, done. Once that's all done, go to File, open your ROM. Find out where you got your ROM. Mine's right there. Double click. Bam, it's open. But we're not done yet, right? We are not done yet. So what you need to do now is, now this is open, you want to go to Alt-Tab to the mouse injector. You want to right-click it and open it as administrator. Now, your computer might be fine without it opening as administrator, but I like to do it because of it's just easier. And you can't do all that. Basically, all you want to do is click 4 on your keyboard. Mouse injection is done. But you won't be able to use your mouse, right? So you've got Alt-Tab back into GoldenEye. Then, after that, click Alt-Enter. And he goes full screen. And now, you will be able to move your mouse around in-game. Easy done. You know, select missions and stuff. You can even activate cheats from this. And when you're all done, bada-bing, bada-boom, you will have GoldenEye 64 running well, perfectly, hopefully, on your PC. Depends how strong your PC is and what settings you've got on, but yeah. And you have to, every time you want to run it, you've got to run it with your mouse, because if you don't, I'll just go Alt-Enter. If you click 4, see, I'm moving my mouse around, and well, it's not activating, it's not moving up and down. It still shoots, you can still activate that, but it doesn't work. So I've got to go Alt-Tab again, 4, bang, Alt-Enter, and then everything comes back together. So just keep it like that and you'll be good. And yeah, you've now got GoldenEye 64 running on your PC. And it's running at, well, it fluctuates. Not nowhere near as bad as fluctuating in, um, well, the original N64 game. I'm getting 60, 80, 30, 40. It, it definitely fluctuates and that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. But the game is playable. It works well. You can obviously go around and change some settings to get better frame rates. But emulators aren't the best in terms of frame rates. They do okay. Uh, even if you've got a beefy rig like mine, it sometimes just doesn't work properly. Like, I've got a GDX 2070, 32 gigs of fast RAM and everything like that. And it doesn't matter how strong your PC is, just sometimes emulators just go a bit over the top and crazy, which is fun. It's still playable and still far more playable than, well... The N64 version, you know, it's still, I think N64, the highest frame rate it got up to was like 25, so you're already doing an amazing job already. But yeah, that's just a little tutorial, um, E and all that, you can change what you want, change how it goes, and you can use your arrow keys to look up and down, which is very old school PC gaming, not the biggest fan of that, but hey, that's why you want the mouse acceleration stuff, I guess you could say, to get it to work. And then once you do get it working, this game actually does work pretty damn well. It kind of feels like a PC game. It's like, man, if this game came out on PC, holy shit. 
Also, yeah, it makes you want just a remaster or a remake. Well, not a remake. We had a remake, but like a remaster, like the one that was supposed to be coming out for 360. I still wish that would release because, yeah, it would be amazing. Now, I think you can also plug in a controller, which, honestly, I find more fun because there's more feedback. Like, I like the, the ability of how to aim better, but I just yeah, I just like it the other way around. Anyway, Aussie Viking out. I'll see you on Valhalla. Bye.